This is a pair of the ever popular NC11 Double Black from Pure Blue Japan. They don't fade and they don't make them anymore. So let's see how they've held up over eight years. <music> Right, here are my NC11s from Pure Blue Japan. They're the NC11BK, BK for black, and NC essentially stands for no change. And that is because it's got a black weave and a weft, so it's not been over dyed in black, it's just been woven with everything in black. And that means that everything's gonna resist fading like it would if it was over dyed. So it's not gonna fade from wear, it's not gonna fade from the sun, uh, all that kind of stuff. And the other thing was, is when they built the, or when they made these and they dyed these, they used a special dye called Indotrine. And that was commonly used in, I think, military uniforms. Uh, and that's essentially a dye that uh, is water insoluble uh, and it resists uh, washing, wearing, sun, almost anything, uh, etc. Now, these are discontinued. Uh, unfortunately, I'd love to buy another pair of these. Uh, and they were replaced, I think, with uh, the XX019BB, I think they are. And essentially, that is a double black jean from Pure Blue Japan that does fade. So I don't think Pure Blue Japan make a jean anymore that uh, doesn't fade. Uh, could be wrong, but uh, that's as far as I know. So, they are a 14-ounce uh, Japanese selvage denim, uh, and it's a perfect weight. I, I, I think that is kind of the sweet spot. They're a slim taper fit, though be aware that these have been altered to fit me. They were tailored many years ago. Uh, so don't take the fit pictures and, and video for gospel, if you can get a pair of these, that is. Uh, they're a five button fly uh, design. They feature black rivets and buttons, and we'll get into that. Um, but first I'll show you the uh, interesting features. Like they have a unique blue selvage line ID a double selvage there, double selvage line. And that's and it's, that's quite nice for an all black jean to have not the usual red selvage. Uh, they have a, you know, a nice blue selvage line ID. Other than that, they're in total, I would say blackout. Every, the stitching is in black. Although there, I think there is a few bits that are got blue stitching, but let's, let's take a look. Let's start with the back. So first things first, here's the back. You have total blackout in terms of pockets, except for the, um, Pure Blue Japan leaf logo, all in black as well. You have a black uh, lambskin leather patch, which has the Pure Blue Japan logo on there, but it's been worn so much that uh, you can't really see it. So this is uh, sewn into the belt, uh, so there's no loop there for the belt to go underneath. You have a centered sewn in belt loop that again is all in black. Uh, and that, if you look at that, is just on its way out. Uh, just by feel that is very soft and that is probably going to come through eventually. Elephant in the room <laughs> is this. Uh, these jeans have been uh, patched many a time, probably about three times I would say, by two different places. These were going to be patched um, but with lockdown I haven't been able to get there and I've got a few more jeans to take. So these are priority number one uh, when I get out of lockdown. Going on to the pockets, let's take this one. Uh, they are, all the pockets are black lined as well. So you can see there's black lining there. What I will say is stitching is black all the way around. The top stitching here looks different. So I think this might be, might be a lighter black or a blue stitching, or maybe it's just faded. But if you look at the difference, and I'll show you close up in the B-roll. So if you look at the difference, you'll see black going down and you see a light kind of a, lighter black or blue going across the top. I think that is double, two different types of stitching. Other than that on the back, you see the wear is consistent with how often I've worn these and how long I've worn these for. Uh, you'll see here there's lovely bits of fade, um, fading, but um, wear here. And apart from the major blur there and the belt loop, everything else looks, you know, kind of, in, kind of consistent with all the wear. So moving down to the backs of the knees, again, these don't fade, so it's hard to see, I guess, where the fades would be. I mean, it's not hard to see. You'll see here all these whiskers. I mean, that texture is beautiful. It feels really good in the in the hand as well. Um, the overall selvage feels extremely soft in the hand after all those years of wear. 
but over these uh, whiskers here, it's just like bumps, I love it. You'll see at the very bottom, uh, probably around the calves, where there is wear in between those, and that's starting to go through, uh, go through the fabric. You have your black stitching all the way down. As I said, you have your double blue line selvage ID, which is, I love that, it's really good. If we move to the front now, these are a blackout jean, so they were billed as uh, black rivets and black buttons. Uh, I think maybe because of where they're stuck. I mean, they are black there, yeah. It's just the, the bits that are raised have started to be a bit, show the metal, I guess. On the inside though, they're not. You have your pure Blue Japan leaf logo on the buttons, and then you have just uh, nothing on the rivets that are black. But this is where the interesting bit is around the pocket. So if I go to the left pocket, uh, you have the pocket bag here, which has the pure Blue Japan standard stuff. You get that on most of their jeans, how to wash them and all that kind of stuff, their signature. Uh, and the pocket bags are just, I think, I think they're just cotton. I don't know. Um, I can't really uh, tell. There's nothing much else to them. The interesting thing is if you go further in, you'll see that selvage line comes up. I mean, obviously comes all the way up to the pocket bag and stitched in there uh, with quite really good black stitching is where they've folded that over, stitched it in and yeah. On the pocket bag itself, you'll see you have your black stitching across there, but also this thicker stitch down here, as I said, is that blue. So they have used two types of stitching collar, which I find, you know, that attention to detail is really good. Chain stitching along the top here as well, the inside of the belt loop um, is, is good. That uses the black stitching as well. And then the inside of the belt, uh, of the uh, buttons, uh, you'll see that stitching is really detailed there as well. If we move over to the other pocket bag, let me just sort this out. Uh, you'll see there's nothing on this one, but on the inside where the, um, you'll see the stitching on the black stitching along here for the main pocket, but then you've also got your watch pocket, which is using the blue stitching. So they've differed the stitching color based on the pocket. That is really interesting. I love that. That's, that's the attention to detail you want from a, a jean um, company. You'll see there, I've blown through the pocket bag on more than one spot. If I, I'll show you, but the pocket bag is blown right through at the top halfway down there and then at the very bottom there. I'll show you again on the outside of that pocket. Basically the stitching of the rim of the pocket has come away. You can almost roll that, un unroll that, but it's, it's held up up until now, but that is just from putting my phone in and out. You'll see the pocket bag has come away from the pocket and then further down the pocket again, it's come away again. So they still work these pockets, but there's a few holes in them. So I just have to be careful where I put everything. If we come down to the knees, you'll see again, there's a little wear where the knees uh, stick out and it's faded a little bit. So I think, you know, if you look at that, that black here is different from the black everywhere else. So that's the kind of fade you'd get, but you know, these are probably seven, eight years. I don't know how old they are. So they're holding up quite well. Other than that, there's not really much else on the knees. Down the bottom, again, not much there. It's blue selvage line ID. Uh, and I've had these, I think they were unstitched and restitched. Uh, you can see there, see that's, I think this is where I got them restitched. This stitching here looks fairly new, whereas this uh, one on the left hand side, on the right, I guess, is not. And I think that's because I had the leg openings uh, reduced, I think, it's so many years ago. If we look at the overall wear on the front here, you'll see uh, just where I put things in my pocket, they are starting to fray. Fabric here is starting to fray. Uh, well, it's frayed a lot, but overall, I think that's pretty good to help, help hold up over the time. Uh, again, the crotch area has had a lot of work and you see on the back side, it's blown through. So that needs to be fixed. These are by far my favorite pair of jeans. They're super, super comfortable. And if they made them, I still made them today, I would buy another pair. Now these were available in the day uh, in either raw or one wash um, denim fabric. And I, to be honest, I don't know 
what I got. But you know, I just thought I'd give you guys a little insight into what is my favorite pair of jeans that I still wear to this day. I have some, had some people comment on my videos asking me what jeans I wear, and it's these ones. Uh, if you see me wearing a black pair of jeans, yeah, hope you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, that's my NC11 BK. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Really helps me out. And I have got some really, really good stuff coming in the next couple of weeks. Got some new jeans just got last week from Okiyama Denim, from Pure Blue Japan as well. It's going to be incredible. So hit the subscribe button. And with that, I uh, hope you enjoy your day and see you in the next one.